Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this video is going to be an unboxing and what to expect video for the MI Band 4. So it's finally been released. So yesterday MI uh, launched this. I actually got this from the MI store itself. So apparently it's faster to get it from the store than online now. So uh, if I order it online, then uh, now the next date is 28th. But uh, right now it's available uh, in the MI stores. Uh, let's go ahead, uh, unbox this and see what all do we get with this. Now this is a complete Indian version one. So this video is going to be on the retail product which has been sold in India, not the other ones which are outside and been imported. So the price on this says 2499 uh, I got it for uh, 2299 so basically 2300 So it's not as cheap as the other ones. So let's go ahead, open this up and then see what all do we get with this. Now you have the classic MI sticker here again. The paper one so in, if you open it up you cannot stick it back that's the band wow this actually looks just like the mi band 3 so just that the surface is flatter other than that if you look at it from the back it actually looks the same what's in here okay so that's just the pamphlet and over here you have the Oh, okay, that's nice. Okay, so this time they have a charging cradle instead of just a charging cable. Okay, let's take a closer look at the device itself. Now, this is the actual module. Now, uh, it completely resembles the MI Band 3. You have the heart rate sensor over here, the charging port over here. Uh, just that the cradle has changed instead of putting it like this into the cradle. Now, it goes uh, flat into the cradle. So, it has to go in like that. Now, uh, the cradle that I have has a little bit of problem. It keeps slipping off. So for me, this is happening. It locks in and then comes off very easily. So while it's charging, it keeps jumping off. So I don't know whether that's a problem with, uh, which is going to be with a lot of people or just me. So I will be checking this with the uh, MI uh, person uh, in Aminora, sorry, in uh, Seasons. And then I'll ask him if anyone else is all, uh, facing the same problem. But this is the way you charge it. So you have a charging uh, cradle now ideally I do not like this design the previous one was much easier once it goes in it remains and it does not come off it was a very nice design everything was working fine uh, if they have put this clamp kind of thing they should have put four of them uh, or, or maybe a sliding mechanism like this so uh, I don't know so they've done something there's something missing I don't know whether it's because it's the Indian version which has this issue or if it's going to be universal so this is how you charge it this is the entire module uh, the difference here is the flat surface. Now the screen is big. It is that big. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, you have a capacitive touch button over here, which actually will only be able to use after we pair it. So let's go ahead, pair this first. Uh, now let's take a look at the band before that. Now the band is completely uh, made of uh, anti-allergic material. So it does not uh, give you all those marks and with the sweat allergies stuff, all those things will not happen with this. Uh, at least for me, it does not happen. It's exactly uh, similar to the band three uh, band. So I like the quality of this and uh, hopefully the band three uh, straps might fit this. So I'll be checking that because I really like the orange one. So I uh, will try getting the orange one and putting onto this if it fits. So let's go ahead, pair this first. So first of all, you'll have to go into your, uh, you'll have to install uh, MI Fit. So you have to install that app. Once you install that app, you have to go into profile and then add a device. So I already have a body composition scale. I removed my MI Band 2 and uh, uh, other stuff. So now we'll go ahead and add a device. So you press add. Now you choose band. Okay. Now it'll start searching for a band. Now just keep this near. Idly, it should be able to find it fast enough. Okay. So you get pair the phone. I press the check sign and it's done. Okay, so that's it. It's paired. Uh, oh, that's nice. It shows me the battery percentage over here. So I've got 9% battery, the time and the footsteps. So this is still uh, doing all the initialization. In the meantime, let me just put this for charging. So I have charged it now fully. I have actually used it for some time. So now it says 97 battery, 97% uh, battery. So I charged it till 99 and uh, now I'm using it. So I checked out all the features. So basically now this one, 
uh, has two touch surface so basically one is this button itself this is one surface the other one is the screen itself so you can do left swipe you can do a uh, right swipe you can do up and down swipe so that is available over here and so basically you have one two three four and five five uh, things that five uh, swipes or five touches that you can do on this band now let's talk about that let's see what all menu what all options do you have so first of all is your clock face which can be changed from the app uh, there is a option of changing the kind of clocks that you want from the band itself I'll show you that also later on so this is the first option that's the clock then you have status so you go into status it will show you your steps uh, your distance covered calories idle alert all that over here so how long were you idle uh, then you have your workout so this is very nice you have all the workout options over here so you have outdoor run treadmill cycling walking exercise swimming all these options are directly available over here so that's really handy so you do not have to use your phone for this uh, now you have your heart rate after that then you have the weather so you can go into weather you can see the entire weather for tomorrow Monday Tuesday so you can keep on uh, going for three days now let's go back now the left swipe is a go back option or right swipe uh, in your uh, home menu the right swipe will also work we'll be talking about that too then you have notifications you can go into notifications so you can see all the notifications that you get uh, it'll scroll through so no, uh, no matter how long the notification is you'll be able to see everything now let's go to the last one that's more you go into more you have do not disturb you have alarms you have music control you have stopwatch you have timers uh, you have find my device uh, so if you press that your phone will start buzzing you have silent so if you press that uh, the phone will go silent and then you have the display uh, band display option right here so with this you can change what display should be uh, shown over here so if, if it's your default clock or something else that will be changed from here then you have settings so let's go into settings first so you have brightness now this band really gets bright so it's that bright now this is the setting it normally stays on the, uh, that's three now you have two more extra from there so that's really nice so we do a left swipe now you have the lock screen if you do lock screen and then lock it then this will get locked and then you'll have to put a pin to unlock it then you have reboot factory reset and then regulatory so if you go into regulatory it will give you all the uh, regulatory options over here so what all uh, you have to see you can see from here then about so about will show you your uh, firmware version your Bluetooth address everything is shown over here so that's basically it now let's see this menu the band display menu when you go into that this is your default clock now you can change it you can change whatever uh, clock you want from the app now I can even go into this so you have three one two three and a fourth one which is whatever I'm choosing from here so uh, in total four clocks are right uh, here so I can change it whenever I want so now if I want to use the default one I can just choose the default one and it's done so now I have 96 percent battery uh, that's the time the date and the steps taken everything is shown over here so excellent option uh, it's a combination of everything essential and something extra which we've been asking for from the time band 2 was released band 3 integrated uh, exercise options into it but it didn't have many options just had two exercise options now this one has more exercise options so there are options of uh, changing things on the phone so we'll be taking a, uh, a, a short look at it we'll not be going through the entire menu I'll be making a different video for that because it's going to be a big video so this is the band uh, this is the app the MI fit app I'll go into my smart band 4 sorry not MI <laughs> MI smart band 4 now over here you have the clock face so these are all the clock faces available so you can keep on browsing so uh, you have a limit over here so there are a lot of them but you cannot add more but you do have an option of going into custom and then adding custom lock face so I can go into it I can choose what kind of uh, watch face I want and then change the uh, picture behind it so I can put my picture and then add that onto this too so that's also uh, available there are third party apps uh, which are available uh, for making uh, clock faces also so uh, there are uh, videos online you can check that out how to change uh, clock face for uh, the watch face for the band 4 uh, 
uh, you will find a lot of them so you can actually put more custom uh, watch face so now that's very very good so one good thing about mi is uh, it's an open source uh, software so they allow third or uh, allow other people or third party to make software for their bands so there are a lot of software which are available if you go online they'll uh, uh, on to the app store you will find a lot of softwares which allow even more customization and add even more features to your band so you can go ahead and see that just search uh, on youtube and you will find that uh, if you want me to make some videos on them i will make them too just comment below and then i'll do that so that's basically it rest everything is normal you have your uh, unlock screen so if you choose that uh, the band gets unlocked actually i will not be going through all this and it will become a big one so you have your regular incoming event uh, event reminders alarms uh, app alerts idle alerts all of that uh, one good thing though is heart rate detection now you have a heart rate alert also so in which i can set at what uh bmp should it alert you so if you want your heart rate not to go beyond like 150 then you can set it to that so if you're exercising and uh, or you're doing something and your heart rate has actually uh, reached 150 or if it's crossing 150 then you will be alerted that uh, you are crossing the limit please slow down so uh, that option is added which was only available on expensive bands those uh, options have been added into this now now there are more options like if you go into a uh, detection method now they have even more options now before you just had automatic heart rate and uh, your manual one or uh, the ones which actually activate when you're exercising now you have sleep assistance also uh, integrated into it so uh, that's a good option so this gives you better uh, sleep data also it shows you uh, how good your sleep quality was too so but this will uh, take up a lot of battery just remember that so I'll not talk about uh, anything else right now. Uh, I'll make a different video for it. Uh, there are a lot of uh, added features, more features which have been added onto it. Actually four or five I can see right now. So I'll be going through all of them uh, in my second video uh, in which I'll be talking about what all uh, can you do on this what, uh, natively from the MI band app and what can uh, this band actually support. We'll be making a different video for that. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe, hit the like button and do comment and I'll see you again with another video. Bye-bye.